exhibition here at the Blackburn Museum and Art Gallery. And what the exhibition does is it brings together the collections from 11 different individuals who lived in the towns of Accrington, Burnley and Blackburn. incredibly surprising what these people collected. We have everything from the grave goods of a 12th century Chachapoyan mummy, which was found in Peru, exquisite ivories, which were collected from all over the world. Uh, we have turners, as you can see, we actually have um, six turners. We have um, an incredibly important collection of Japanese prints, one of the earliest collections in the country that was collected by a Blackburn millionaire. One of the things about Hart that makes him stand out from other collectors is the fact that he doesn't just collect one sort of thing. He collects widely across not only all different types of books, but he also collects books from many different cultures. And that's extremely unusual for someone from Blackburn at the sort of turn of the 19th century. He collects Islamic books, which you can see here. These are beautiful um, Persian poetry books. Um, they are copies of something called the Kamsa, which is an epic poem in five parts. And they are not only the calligraphy is beautiful, but they're also beautifully illustrated. Uh, these are the earliest pieces of what we could call the book in Hart's collection. Um, calling them books is stretching it a little bit because what they are are clay tablets, and they were used um, uh, to record language by use of a stylus in wet clay, then they were just left to dry in the sun. And as you can see, they've survived pretty well. These were made around 2000 BC in what's modern day Iraq. This is the coin collection, which was um, assembled by Robert Edward Hart throughout his life. They're not only sort of the best in the UK outside of the British Museum, it's also one of the best collections in the entire world. And this is because Hart assembled coins from every single Roman emperor. So it's a complete collection of Roman imperial coins. Um, it, it seems to me that um, it's important to show not only the wide world what was collected in in Britain, especially in the Northwest during the Industrial Revolution. And we thought that we achieved this by bringing these collections down to London. But what I really wanted to do with this phase of the exhibition is to bring these things home to Blackburn and the surrounding towns to show local people what they've got. Mm -hmm.